Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Cameron, and welcome to my video on my Disney College Program experience. I just finished my college program January 7th, so it's been like almost 10 days. Yeah. And I just want to do this video today to just explain my whole entire experience. Now, if you didn't ever see the video where I talked about when I got accepted, go and check that out. I talk all about the interview process, the application process, and everything. And it'd be a really cool video to check out before you see this one, so go check that out. Then, uh, yeah, and come back here. Other than that, I really only did one vlog and, and for my entire experience. That was a Disneyland vlog, which I have right here if you want to check that out. I have the link to that in the description as well. Um, but I will be doing some more Disneyland vlogs pretty soon. Stay tuned to hear all about that. So now, what is the Disney College Program? You might be asking that. Well, the Disney College Program is basically a, a paid internship that you are going to do with the Walt Disney Company where you work either at Disney World or Disneyland in one of the parks in a certain department with your role. Um, it's a really cool experience. It's specifically for college students and it's a lot different than working for the parks. It's the same in many ways, but if you're working part-time, but the only difference is you're going to be getting a lot of hours compared to where if you're part-time, no, you'll just, you'll just get like, it's just a job, you know, it's not an entire internship. Now, why did I apply? It's a great question. No, um, honestly I applied because I always wanted to live in California and I thought it would be a really cool experience living in California. And I've also always liked Disneyland. You know, Disneyland has always been something my family has gone and seen. You know, it's been a really cool thing to me my whole entire life and I've always had the, the dream of working there. Even as a young kid I was like, that'd be cool to work there. And honestly as far as like part-time jobs and just, you know, like low paying jobs and you could say like mundane work goes, it doesn't get much better than working at Disneyland. It's honestly a very rewarding and fun experience. So the reason that I applied though was because it was a way for me to get out to California and pursue my dreams of going into screenwriting, filmmaking, everything that I want to try and do in my life, while also having a job to be able to, you know, live here and pay rent. So that's why I applied. Now let's talk about the application process. So basically you're going to go through two sets of interviews and then you're going to get, end up getting accepted. The phone interview is probably the hardest, most nerve-wracking part. I remember I did not think I did well in the interview, but I guess I did because this is a pretty selective program and I got accepted. So, yeah, me of all people, I know. Um, so, you know, like, it's definitely worth a shot. Like, don't think just because a small percentage of people um, get it that it's not worth it to even try because it is definitely worth it because I didn't expect to get it. And if you want to hear all about, like, the application process more, like I said, check out my video where I, back in March where I talked about when I got accepted almost a year ago. It doesn't feel like it's been almost a year. It's been about a year since I first applied for the program. That's just crazy to me. It just went by so quick. Now, in case I didn't already mention it, and I'll probably, it'll probably say it in the title, I don't know, but I did the Disneyland College Program, which a lot of people do the Disney World one. I did the Disneyland one, which was definitely a different experience according to people who have done the Disney World one. Um, but overall, I really, really enjoyed it. Now, what did I do? Now, there are many different roles that you'll have, and I'll talk about that in a sec, but what I did is I was a custodial busser in the Pacific Wharf area in Disney's California Adventure Park. Yes, California Adventure. Not Adventures. There's no S at the end. It's, yeah, no S. Come on now. While working there, you also have the option to take classes if you're in Disney World, and if you're in Disneyland, you're required to take classes, which I think is a good thing, in my opinion, because the classes are pretty beneficial. Like, you... You do learn a lot depending on what you do. You'll either learn or you'll kind of just listen and uh, have the chance to like network with people and just learn about what certain people do. Um, I was in two different classes. Blended learning, which was sort of interesting. You kind of just learn about yourself and your work style and just how you are like, I guess in a work environment with people. It's, it's really a lot of learning about yourself and just like maybe what you want to do within the company. And then I also was in a um, leadership speaker series, which I regret taking. I took this one because my friends wanted me to take it. Um, because that's kind of what everyone was taking and you know I should have just taken what I wanted to take which was marketing you because it would have I think benefited me more with what I want to do but there's a lot of pros a lot of pros first of all you get free admission into the parks now at Disney World that's probably incredible because you have four parks to go into at Disneyland it's still amazing because I mean two, you have two parks to go into but like still like that's awesome um, meeting people is, is great. I've met some amazing people, some, whether it's my coworkers or people within the program or part-time people that we, all, that we all met. Um, you know, like I met a great group of people here and I'm just so happy that I met them and I don't think my program would have been the same without them. Another cool thing about working is you get to see all the behind the scenes stuff. You get to see the way that Disney runs things, the way that Disney works, you know, like attractions, you know, all their, their backstage operations and shows, all that stuff. It's really cool to see and just see how like the flow goes. You know, I can just be carrying like a, a trash can through and I'm like, 
damn, there's there's a lot of stuff going on back here. Another cool thing is all the uh, the events, the networking. You know, you you get to network with certain people that you might be doing the same thing you want to do, and it really gets you gives you the chance to you know meet people who want to do what you want to do, and maybe help you if you want to collaborate with them in the future, or you know you know them, you can connect them on LinkedIn. And then the events are also incredible because you get to do a lot of fun events, whether it's Space Mountain with the lights on or Indiana Jones Temple Tour. Um, Let's see, what else do we do? We have a lot of, you have like movie events. Um, there's the an Angels game if you do Disneyland. Um, there's, a lot, there's a lot of fun stuff like that. You can see a lot of behind the scenes with the rides, which just kind of goes hand in hand with that, um, with what I was previously talking about. And of course you can get your family in, you know, you can bring them in, you can get them all in for free, which is really cool. I mean, if you have like a family of like seven people, then no, you can get in, th you can get in three people besides yourself. But still, you'll get discounted tickets if you wanna get the rest of them in, so have at it. You also get a ton of discounts on food, merchandise. I didn't really buy much merchandise, but still, it's an option. Um, you get you get the, like this little coupon book of free snacks around the Christmas time if you do the fall program, so that's always fun. Now the cons, you will have to work holidays if you're doing the fall program. We'll be working Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Now I did not work Halloween, I did not work Thanksgiving, but I did work the other four. Um, that was pretty cool that I was able to go home for Thanksgiving, but you know, like I was very lucky and very blessed that I was able to do that. Um, because most of the time, no, like you are working holidays. That's just kind of how it is. That's how this program is. I know I had someone in my area who complained a ton about this, and it's just one of those things you need to know going in. You are going to be working holidays. Now, getting used to the hours is definitely something that can be a huge con. I I will I'm gonna discuss a little story when I first started here. I first started here, I was completely overwhelmed. I had not had a job. I had been working at home. Um, flipping things, making designs, writing, all this other stuff, freelance writing. I was kind of like self-employed at the age of 20. Um, so going back to having a full-time job 40 hours a week was awful. I will say that, like for me, like it was, I don't even, I don't know, it was a huge adjustment. I couldn't even do it for a while. Um, and it was something that I really wish I would have prepared myself for better and just really, I'm glad I stuck through it because the thing is, I had two, I had, um, 12 points my first month. And I'll yeah, just come out and say like I had 12 points my first month for four different absences. And I was I had a written and a verbal, which basically meant if I had gotten one more warning um, and then gotten pulled in after that, I would have been fired, I would have been terminated. And I'm glad that I ended up, you know, really like getting my stuff together after that first month because I'm glad I was able to stay on, but I made some dumb choices my first month and I'm very glad that I pushed through that, but just be warned, like that could happen and you need to really just push through it, just forget about everything that's happening. If you can, trade for shorter shifts, but still be able to pay your bills um, if it's all overwhelming, because it will be overwhelming at first. So my role as a custodial bus driver is just clean tables, you know, swept, talked here and there, got to socialize with my coworkers, and I just loved that part. Socializing, socializing with my coworkers was my absolute favorite part of it, and I still love this role right now. And it's just, it's really fun. You can have fun guest, guest interaction experiences. So um, yeah, it's not bad. And I have friends in merchandise that liked it, friends in attractions that really love it, and they're, they're still there. Um, it really depends on what, like what kind of person you are. If you like the freedom of moving around, and you know you have experience maybe cleaning and that that kind of thing, then go go ahead and do what I did, do busing. It's a, it's a fun thing to do. You meet a lot of cool people. You constantly get to talk to your coworkers. So. I love that. One of my favorite parts about working at California Adventure was the Festival of Holidays. Now this happens uh, November through January, and this was fun because I had live music in my area, and uh, that was a really fun experience. One of my favorite parts about the program. Although some of the songs that they would repeat got a bit old, um, the overall festival and just the atmosphere that it really brought was, was, was exciting. It was cool. So roommates, you're gonna have to find roommates if you're in the dorms. Now I'm in an apartment, I do have a roommate, um, but I found him, he was already living in the area, so that's how I found him. I'm not in the dorms. I know a lot of people do the dorms. If you're in Florida, you will be in the dorms. So you got to find roommates. So get in all the Facebook groups if you're doing that. You're gonna have to budget your money too, you know, like if you're um, if you're in the dorms, they will take the rent out for you. But here, like I learned how to, you know, budget my money for my, my apartment and paying for everything. Um, which was definitely an adjustment. I had never lived out on my own, but uh, I'm definitely glad that I did it this way because it really helped me learn to budget my money and save money, which I, I really didn't. I didn't save any money. Overall, this program was just like fantastic and life-changing, and I'm staying on right now. I'm hoping to go for a lead in my area in the fall as I have several leads and other cast members that say that they think that that would be a good option for me, and I so I'm definitely gonna shoot for it. Um, so I'm gonna stay there, continue to go for school, to go to school, do YouTube videos, write, pursue what I wanna do. All I gotta say is it's a fun experience, it's definitely worth it, just get ready for the hard work. But if you can just, you know, just get throughout all your work days and just really give it your best, 
you'll have a lot of fun outside of work. It, it is, it's a blast. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what you thought of your program. Let me know if, if you're going in the program. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me or just comment down in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That, that's all I got for you guys today. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go check out my other two channels, Millsy Gameplay and Millsy Entertainment. And that's it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.